Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing Thai real estate law. And every once in a while, I like to do one of these videos. It's sort of comparative law. To be clear, I'm an American attorney. I am a naturalized Thai citizen, but I'm American attorney. I deal with Thai attorneys here in the office. I act as managing director. Oftentimes, I may help in liaising legal matters with clients between the Thai side and provide some context with respect to you know, similarities between Thai principles and, in, in my case, American legal principles or sort of common law legal principles. This is one of those circumstances. We've had the Thai, some Thai attorneys here in the office go ahead and look at this video. They know what I'm saying in here. This should not be viewed as dispositive information from a Thai legal professional, this should, nor from, a, from an American legal professional in the sense of specific case-specific advice. This is simply just sort of a discussion, if you will, on comparing these concepts in the Thai system versus the Western common law American system, if you will. So in the, in the American system, when you're using someone's property, generally it's adjoining your own for some sort of ancillary purposes to the use of your property. For example, sort of as an entryway to get to your property or as a, I often see this in the context of parking spaces. You may have, someone may own a building, there may be a parking lot next to that building and the owner of the building may want to rent a parking space from that person or if they, if they want a more permanent right, they go ahead and gain an easement, which is a specific right of use for that piece of ground. And in this case, we're gonna look at it from the context of land, of that piece of real estate, that piece of land for a specific purpose. And in Thailand, they, they call this a servitude. It's, a, it's kind of a different, well, it is, it's a different term because it's a different body of law. So when thinking about easements in Thailand, first of all, and I need to be very clear on this, not all legal principles associated with easements translate directly into the Thai legal system. So servitudes may require a different framework for registration of the right. They may not confer the same rights depending on circumstances. And things like presumptive, or in the case of the US, prescriptive easements, that may not apply with respect to analysis of servitudes. So again, depending on the set of circumstances at play, one may or may not be able to make sort of a lateral analysis, a lateral move of the analysis of easements over to an analysis of servitudes. But there is a similar concept in the Thai jurisprudence, this notion of a servitude is similar to easements which are used in the common law tradition. 